For more than 30 years, Presagis has been developing simulation and virtual reality technology to help defense organizations get trained and ready for deployment. We constantly seek to innovate and provoke change through reinvestment, research, and special projects. Presagis is a very technology-rich company. We can take uh, geo-localized information, build very rich, precise, realistic simulation environments, and essentially then put um, vehicles, people, um, sensors, all sorts of things into the simulation. Presagis's experience and expertise has been crucial in several collaborative research projects. Working with universities, government agencies, and the private sector, Presagis is leading the way in researching and innovating solutions for defense and aeronautic industries worldwide. One such project is DVENS, or the Degraded Visual Environment Navigation Support, which was led by Presagis. Presagis is central to this project. So besides providing uh, the virtual world in which all the simulations are made, they are providing expertise, they are providing the leadership, they are providing a lot of resources so that they, they can achieve the goal of this project. I think uh, Presagius brings a couple different uh, aspects to the works. First and foremost, leadership. Um, the leadership of the team is outstanding and the management of Presagius is doing a fabulous job. The system is composed of a LiDAR, which is a laser emitting type of devices, which is able to gather up to half a million points per second, so at very high rate, and it's feeding this into a component that has to process that amount of data and represent it to the pilot in such a way that he gets a good uh, situation awareness. This LiDAR used in the DVENS project is constantly sweeping the ground below the aircraft, scanning for and identifying safe landing zones and ensuring safety in brownout or whiteout situations. For pilots, this technology is all about safety. I have been in uh, brownouts and uh, whiteouts, which is the snow version of a, of a brownout. Um, what ends up happening is as you slow down the aircraft generally, your rotor wash recirculates loose phenomenon such as dust or snow uh, or water and recirculates it and obscures your vision. I've already been uh, several losses uh, for the Canadian military, US military in situations like that where they get into a dust ball, they lose all their visual references and uh, collide into an obstacle. When you're trying to land in an area where it's obscured, landing is the most challenging thing you can generally do in a helicopter. And so all of your visual references you can't are lost, you can't see the ground, you can't see obstacles around you. But uh, LiDAR uh, has the potential to, to create an image for the pilot upon which he can base his maneuvers and, and safely execute a landing. The Presagis-led team understood the importance of the project. Using Presagis's customizable helicopter simulation platform, Helicraft, the first step was to create a real-time LiDAR simulation. LiDAR seems to be able to help in a, a lot of those situations. So if it can help us, we can find a way to implement it in a an intuitive and useful and affordable manner, then th that's exactly what we want. Through collaboration, diligence, and determination, Presagis and their partners achieved what they set out to do, create a real-time LiDAR simulation. We at Presagis had all the components required to quickly build up that 3D simulation and the environment to process that LiDAR. So going from the 3D scene where we had to build up an area with a lot of sand and some urban regions and so on with some landscape, which allows to properly test the system in all those different conditions. The first phase of the DVENS project is complete. By closely working together, Presagis and their partners were able to take a concept and make it real through innovation. DVENS is a perfect example of that, of, of different skill sets coming together to, to tackle something that's really, really difficult. Everybody from the, the licensing team up to like the chief architect that's been helping us with the DVENS project have been helpful in multiple domains and they've always been there for us at any given point. We've heard of LIDARs, but infrared sensors, radar, acoustic sensors, there are sensors everywhere, which means that machines become aware of the world that surround them. It's hard to imagine what the future is gonna be like, so we're excited to be a part of uh, defining the future. Sages. Make it real.